Hey everybody, Kyle Goat here from GoatFilmReviews.com and the Goat Film Reviews YouTube channel. And I've got my first reaction to the new film, They Shot the Piano Player. Now, this is a film from Sony Pictures Classic, and it is an animated film that's kind of modeled itself as a documentary drama kind of thing. It is using real interviews, real, not footage though, um, but with an animated backdrop basically. And it looks at the disappearance and possible murder of a Brazilian pianist named Francisco Tenorio Jr. in, I believe, 1976. Um, the film stars Jeff Goldblum. He's the, the lead voice character, but he plays a man who is basically trying to uncover more about the life and potential death of this pianist. And we've got some other people that are kind of voicing other characters throughout the film, and then some people who are voicing themselves um, through use of old footage or just recent interviews as well to kind of find out what exactly happened. Um, this is a case where there's a couple of these films that have come out this year where I think the, the package of the film is quite good, but the content didn't work for me. And that's been true of uh, some of the other documentaries I've talked about. Um, there was one, I think it was called Silver Dollar Road, as well as Beyond Utopia. Both films, those are films that featured really great stories that I don't think the actual filmmaking process of the documentary was nearly as strong. This is a case where the filmmaking process behind They Shot the Piano Player is incredible. It's just that the, it, the way the story is unfolded, it meanders a little bit too much for me. And that's why it's not a film that I can wholeheartedly recommend. It's a really well put together film uh, in terms of its visual style. It's got a musical, lyrical quality to the images, the drawing, the painting, the footage that is on screen. But I don't know that the mystery itself really amounts to as much as I feel like the filmmakers involved thought it would. Um, and I'm not sure, I, again, I, full disclosure, I don't know much about the background of this pianist. I don't know much about the background of what's been learned and when outside of this film. But I feel like there's a, I feel like there's maybe a short film, an animated short film's worth of information here that is stretched to over 90 minutes and makes it just kind of drag in places. Um, I love the look of the movie, but it came down to a case where I just don't think the content involved serviced it. And maybe there's enough story that just wasn't well utilized, but I felt myself kind of caring less and less as the film goes on, and I don't think that's what you want. Um, it is similar in ways to the documentary of Searching for Sugar Man uh, in terms of the the case of building an evidence and finding out information, but I feel like this mystery stops short a little bit and doesn't really doesn't really reach its logical conclusion in a way that I think is satisfying as a story. Uh, and sometimes that's the way it goes with documentary work or docudramas or animated docudramas like this. Um, bold swing, I can give it all the, the credit in the world for the bold swing that they took as uh, creatives to make a film that was like this. I just don't think it ultimately worked all that well for the story, even though I think that the visuals and... Uh, the lead performance vocally from Jeff Goldblum was quite good as well. Uh, so those are my thoughts on They Shot the Piano Player. Let me know down in the comments section below what you thought about this film. Uh, maybe you completely disagree with me. Again, I'm not much of a musician historical person. Uh, so maybe if you are somebody who really cares about the history of music, um, really likes the deep cut artists, this might be something that works for you more than it did for me. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about the film as well down below in the comments section. Make sure while you're down there, you please like and subscribe. There are two free ways that you can help support the channel, and you never miss new episodes of the show as they drop. You can also find GoatFilmReviews.com for my many written reviews. You can find Goat Film Reviews on Facebook. You can follow me personally at Almighty Goatman on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and Threads. And you can find my show, Kyle and Nick on Film, that I co-host with Nick Plachuk and the St. Paul Filmcast, as well as a link to the Minnesota Film Critics Alliance. All those links are down in the description. And we'll see you next time.